Hey everyone, this is Jean. I'm going to show you how to make this tear off calendar today. But first, there are a couple of things I need to go over with you. Do you know how to add your own patterns into your Silhouette Studio program? It's really easy. Just click on File, go to My Library and My Patterns, and from your computer, open the folder that contains the patterns that you want to add to your program. Just click on it, hold, drag, and drop. And the next time when you want to fill a pattern, you will find this pattern over there. To make the calendar, the first thing that I would do is to set the page size to letter size. This is because I'm using a regular printer paper to make the pages of this calendar. Next, I will use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and set the size to about 2.5 by 3 inches. Next, locate the folder that contains my calendar and I'm going to hold, drag and drop this cow onto the virtual mat. Now locking the aspect ratio, I will reduce the width of the cow to 2.35 inches and I will hit enter and reposition this cow onto the rectangle. I will use the line tool and draw a line, placing it just above the cow, like that. And selecting it, I will change the line style to dash lined, like so. Now let's zoom in so you can have a better look. I'm going to group this dashed line with the rectangle by holding down the shift key and selecting both the line and the rectangle. Right click and select group. To fill the rectangle with a pattern, just open the fill pattern window and scroll down to select the pattern that I want. I will mouse over the rectangle, right click and send it to back so that I can see the cow again. And by showing the registration marks and zooming out, I can reposition this page by selecting all and moving it to this corner. I'm going to fill this page by doing a Ctrl C and a Ctrl V. Or I could just right click, do a copy and, and paste. And I will move it here. And there is still room for three more pages. So I will just do a Ctrl A to select all, a Ctrl C to copy and a Ctrl V to paste. So now this page is filled. So now we've come to my favorite part of this tutorial. Um, you may notice right now we have six identical pages of the um, January month. Uh, how am I going to change these pages into the different months of the year? It's really easy. Just pull up the folder with your um, Cowlander graphics. And by holding and dragging your February cow over the January cow, um, it has magically replaced the month. All right, now let's do that with March. Let me show you one more time. See how it is still January now? I'm going to select March, holding down my left mouse. I'm going to drag and drop. That's it. Okay, let's do the same for April. Just drag and drop. May, drag and drop and June. And the cow has automatically resized and replaced the um, January 
um, month. So at this point, I would recommend that you save this page um, as a, a studio file. Maybe you can call it um, page one so that you can easily just have um, the rest of the year from July to December by replacing the, the month the same way by dragging and dropping and then saving the July to December cows um, as page two. To make the cover page, just delete all except for one page. Just select and press the delete key and I'm going to delete away this cow leaving a blank page. I'm going to open the folder that contains the two graphics that I want. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the mat and resize this 2012 to about 2 inches. I will lock the aspect ratio and I will change the width to 2 inches and I will position it inside here and I will do the same to the cow. I'll just drag and drop and resize by first um, locking the aspect ratio and changing the width to one inch. I will hit enter and position the cow here. Now I am going to ask that you check my blog for a little footnote on how I get this um, 2012 alphabet in one piece like that from the Lettering Delights website. And if you're satisfied with how your cover page looks like, just duplicate it as many times as you like, um, up to um, six pages can fit on a letter size page. Just Control A to select all, Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So I, I only need three pages. So I am just going to duplicate it. So I get these three sheets. And of course, if you want more, you can duplicate it another time to have up to six on this page. So now we are ready to make the backing for this calendar. Just draw a rectangle about, um, now make sure that you change the line style back to a regular straight line and set the size of your rectangle to about 2.5 by 3.8. and we will fill it with the same pattern like that and just duplicate it as many times as you need so I really just need three and in fact I think you can only fit up to three on this page well actually you can you can have one um, horizontally if I think I think you'll fit if you need it to be um, if you need one more let's see if it fits yeah I think I think I think you can fit up to five control C control V you can actually fit up to five but I only printed out three because that's all that I need so at this point you can um, print and cut just click on this icon here and um, load your paper or your card stock. Right, and that reminds me, for this um, page, for the backing, I actually printed on card stock. And for the other pages, for the calendar pages, as well as the um, front cover page, I printed and cut on um, regular printer paper. Because um, if I had printed and cut on cardstock, it would have been too thick to staple together. So here are the pages after they have been printed out. And this is how they look like after they have been cut. Now once again, the backing paper 
was printed using cardstock, whereas the cover and the calendar pages were printed on regular printer paper. And to put them together, I just stapled the calendar with the cover together. Um, here I actually staple it one time, you can staple it two times if you like. And then I apply um, this strong double stick tape on the backing paper. And I put them together by first aligning the top of the backing paper so that it sits just above the perforation or the dashed line. And I will place a piece of twine because I want this calendar to be um, to be hanging. So I place a piece of twine where the spine is before um, sticking down the um, calendar to the backing paper. And just one note, I stick it down by first aligning the bottom of the backing paper with the bottom of the calendar. Um, because I actually did give a little bit of allowance for this uh, this twine or if you want to use ribbon but if you do not align it with the bottom of the backing paper you may find that um, it juts out so that it is too long and if if that happens just trim it trim off the excess length so embellish as you wish I just stick a button on it and um, it's done so if you want to see written instructions and, and a footnote about the Lettering Delights um, alphabet that I mentioned earlier, please head back to my blog under a cherry tree .com. Thanks for watching this video and Happy New Year! Bye!